but March I, 9th. I love um, what you were talking about like with the planets yeah. and everything that's coming up. They're going to be in the night sky yeah. and um, it's going to be this week and it's going to give us a chance uh, to see what's called a planetary yeah. parade, which That's is called a parade. Like Every planet could be visible with clear skies. With clear skies. Yeah. News Channel 11 meteorologist Alex Williams explains the best time to catch a glimpse of this moment. This week, the night sky will provide the opportunity to view seven planets in our solar system at once. Most of them can be seen without a telescope. Bayes Mountain Planetarium Director Adam Than says planetary parades are not a rare occurrence, but the high number of planets visible this week makes it worth checking out. It's common to see planets in the evening sky. It's not as common to see all the planets in, you know, in the evening sky. It's not super rare every couple of years or so, uh, but um, it's not also an alignment like an eclipse when the moon goes in front of the sun. The planets seem to be aligned thanks to their orbits placing them all on the same side of the solar system. Looking from west to east, this is what you will see. As you go across the sky towards the eastern horizon, you'd see Saturn first to the west, Venus, Jupiter high up, and Mars. In the mix between Jupiter and Saturn is also Uranus and Neptune, but you need a telescope to see those, and even then, they're pretty tiny and pretty faint. The best time to view this phenomenon is shortly after sunset between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. You can even view it from your neighborhood. All you need is a clear view of the east-west horizon. This week is the time to look because Mercury will be rising as Saturn is setting, providing the opportunity to see both in addition to the other five planets. Than says experiencing the parade of planets helps connect us to the vast expanse of space. You don't physically see a line across the sky, but you're seeing the line of planets go across. That's the ecliptic. And so that's kind of cool to help you see that is the plane of the solar system that we are part of. So we are, you know, there is this connection of our place in space and our view of space, so allowing us to have that connection. Reporting for News Channel 11, I'm Alex Williams.